I want to talk a little bit about practice-based evidence and evidence-based practice. One of the things that we've tried to do in this resource is to find a balance between these two ways of looking at knowing and providing supported practice. From an evidence-based practice perspective, it's important to look at what the professional literature has to say, the theory, the research, in terms of the kinds of principles and practices that you may apply in your interaction with clients. One of the challenges in leaning too far in one direction or the other between practice-based evidence and evidence-based practice is that we miss the client in the middle. So from an evidence-based practice perspective, it's important to look at both the more trans-theoretical and trans-cultural principles that are out there in the literature in terms of what makes counseling effective. And it's also important to look at the minority-centered literature to see what is valuable and what is ringing true for clients from particular non-dominant populations. However, there's a risk in all of this of stereotyping people and forgetting about the individual who's before you in your office who's a unique person. So for example, if I was to go to a practitioner who was really well versed in minority centered practice with uh, the queer community and the focus of our conversations was entirely about that and some of those principles were being pulled indiscriminately from the literature and applied in the conversations with me, I might feel like I'm not being seen. Um, and the attempt to be multiculturally sensitive is being lost because the person in the room is not being consulted on what is appropriate for them. And that's the foundation of practice-based evidence. The important piece is coming back to the client, looking at the client and engaging the client in conversations as a unique person who may or may not be attached to minority-centered lenses, who may or may not relate to more trans-theoretical or trans-cultural principles and who may have their own unique perspective on what they need and what's going to work for them in counselling and engaging in that process of continual feedback to ensure that you are coming informed to the session and yet you are coming informed with a tentativeness that's invitational and that's responsive to the particular person who's sitting in front of you in this moment. 